Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards, and this is Be Still and Know. Let's hear what God is saying to us today. Matthew chapter 6, verse 12. Forgive us our sins, as we have forgiven those who sin against us. The word sin is not popular. Most people will readily identify abuse, murder and bank robbing as sin, but will be very reluctant to place the label on any of their own misdemeanours. I recall the time when a good friend of ours, who wasn't a Christian, attended an evangelistic meeting. The evangelist gave an amusing and powerful message in which he made it absolutely clear that we are all sinners. Our friend is the gentlest and kindest of people and was deeply offended by the evangelist's language. She couldn't bring herself to believe that she could ever be considered to be a sinner. However, Jesus was quite clear that we are indeed all sinners and therefore in need of forgiveness. The word for sin that's used here literally means debt. We have all thought, said and done things that have rung up a debt. And the problem is that we have no way of paying that debt. All we can do is to own up to our debts and find someone who would be willing to pay them on our behalf. That is precisely what Jesus came to do. Through his death on the cross, he came to pay the price for our sin. There's nothing that we could ever do to rub out the debt. We're entirely dependent on Christ's willingness to set us free. And amazingly, that's what he promises to do for all those who own up to their sin and resolve to live a new life in partnership with him. Forgiveness is a gift that, once we've received it, we're under a duty to pass on. People will often hurt and offend us without intending to do so. And we don't need to go around saying, I forgive you to everyone. Most of the time, forgiveness is a matter of action. So we show our forgiveness by continuing to love and care for those who've hurt us. We make sure that, tempting as it may well be, we don't try to hit back and even the scores. We have to make the choice to live a life of forgiveness daily. Let me ask you a question. Who have you needed to forgive recently? And how did you do it? Let me pray with you. Loving Father, thank you for the amazing gift of your forgiveness. Help us always to pass on your love and forgiveness to others. Well, thanks for listening. I encourage you to join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier. The talks are also available, of course, on podcast, which you can access at any time. And if you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, which contains all of these devotionals and a great deal more besides, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. God bless you. I do hope you have a really good day.